What is up guys? Real quick before we jump into today's video, I would like to take a few short moments to let you know that we have a Discord channel for all of our fans to participate in and you are more than welcome to join us there. Then, we also have a Patreon account set up with some cool benefits if you want to play with us, see behind the scenes cuts of us failing and being stupid, or just want to support us. And that's it. Enjoy the video. Greetings and salutations, my lovely little bitelings. My name is Wiggy, and all the way back in May of 2017, I made a video titled The Best Free-to-Play Anime and War RPGs to Play Right Now in 2017. 800,000 views, thousands of comments, and thousands of likes. Over the course of the year, my likes and dislikes in terms of MMORPGs have changed quite drastically. I recall listing games like MapleStory, Twin Saga. As anime MMORPGs, I thoroughly enjoyed, when in reality, I recall listing games like Maple Story and Twin Saga. As anime MMORPGs, I thoroughly enjoyed, when in reality, I believe those games no longer hold any semblance of relevancy. Styx did do a video on upcoming anime MMORPGs just last month titled 4 Upcoming Anime MMORPGs You Absolutely Need to Play in 2018 and Beyond. If you're interested in a few anime titles to look forward to as well. However, regarding what I believe should be listed... Fantasy Star Online 2 is by far the most complete anime MMORPG out currently. It has been out for years and therefore has some of the most extensive content you can find in an anime MMO. You're met with multiple classes and races, all completely fabricated and set in a sci-fi setting. This is rare in the MMORPG genre, and even rarer in the anime genre. I don't know a single other anime-inspired MMORPG to have a sci-fi setting outside of Fantasy Star Online 2. Now the reasons, now the reason I believe Fantasy Star Online 2 deserves to be in this list is because the game is fast paced, action packed, and has the largest community in an anime MMO. It has over 10 servers and over 100 channels per server. Housing so many players, it's absolutely insane, especially for an anime title. Fantasy Star Online 2 has fast, highly customizable action combat, what I believe are some of the best characters and best character creator in an anime MMO, and actually has a story that leads you through the game. It's instance though, so if that's a problem for you, then you may not like it. Alright, so Pirate King Online, also known as Tales of Pirates Online, was shut down a few years ago by IGG. That was terrible news for Styx and I, as Tales of Pirates was our very first MMORPG. It is the game that got us into the entire genre. Without it, we wouldn't be here today, and you wouldn't be watching this video. However, in the wake of the destruction of the official servers, there rose multiple private servers to replace it. Three in specific, actually. We've done a video on one of the private servers in the past, a short video of us playing again after so long. Then Styx did multiple videos for a newer, better private server more recently. The reason being that both of us love the game immensely, it will forever hold a special place in our hearts. And it will forever hold a special place in our hearts. The game is click to move, tab target, and very dated. So if these are things that turn you off of a game, then I strongly suggest against it. If you're a huge fan of PvP, however, then I recommend jumping in as it's one of the PvP heaviest anime and RPGs out there. A lot of people don't know about Onigiri, and that's because it was never really advertised all that much. Which is a shame, as the game itself is very heavily anime inspired, being one of the closest games to an anime I've come across. Not visually. Visually, Onigiri is a good looking game as far as anime games go, but the feel of the game is very anime-esque. It has a lot of traditional anime tropes compiled into the plot and a lot of very specific character and a lot of very specific character archetypes that are traditionally found throughout anime series. The game has fast-paced action combat utilizing various weapon types to give you access to separate skills per weapon. 
The game itself, though, is semi-instanced. While the game makes use of instance dungeons along with the main quest hub to take quests from, the game world gives you access to open world areas as well. Thus, semi-instanced. Yes, yes, I'm aware this one is a mobile MMORPG. This isn't a list of best anime MMORPGs on PC. It's a best anime MMORPG video. Therefore, I plan on including the anime MMORPGs I believe should be listed on this list. Now, this is the only mobile MMORPG I'll actually list in this video as honestly, it's the only one I'd actually even attempt to play. It is one of the most unique MMORPGs I've ever played. Having an incredibly unique combat system, beautiful anime graphics, and a very interactive story with memorable characters, which is great considering story is important to us. Once again, the problem with this game is that it's on the mobile device. However, with a mobile emulator like the one Styx used to play it, you're capable of playing it right now on your PC. No anime list would be complete without Soul Worker. I know I list it in a lot of top lists, but that's because it's just so good. And it even has an official Western launch slated for the beginning of this year. Or if you don't want to wait, then you can go right ahead and jump on over to the official private server that completely translates the game into English. Which is pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself. Now, Soul Worker has one of the best combats found in an anime MMORPG and is also the best looking outside of Fantasy Star Online 2. It is instanced completely, unlike Onigiri, and also doesn't offer the larger world feel that Fantasy Star Online 2 does. But that's not really a problem. The game plays like a dungeon crawler, and it is, more or less. Last time I neglected to include Elsword in a top list, people slammed us to hell. Elsword is the best anime MMORPG, was the overall general consensus. Which isn't entirely untrue. Other than the supposed pay-to-win aspect of the game, Elsword is definitely one of the most fun side-scrolling action MMORPGs we've come across thus far. It has some ridiculously fun action combat, something other games like Critica don't necessarily have. Then you have the fact that it has several subclasses for each class, Adding a lot of class customizability, something most MMOs don't actually give you. Additionally, you have a fully voice acted storyline, which is ridiculous, considering the game was released such a long time ago. However, if side scrolling MMOs like MapleStory are a turnoff for you, this is definitely not going to change your mind about it. <laughs> I know I've listed quite a few of these kinds of games in this video, but honestly, that's because they're so damn good. Rusty Horse especially. It's a fast, action-packed side scroll like Elsword and Maple Story, but with probably the best graphics you'll find. And it was shut down a while ago as well. Officially, anyway. The game reopened under various private servers over the years, with two large ones specifically of note. I won't list either of them because honestly, I don't want to get into trouble, but you're welcome to Google around for them. Now, in terms of gameplay, Rusty Hearts is definitely high up there, probably under Fantasy Star Online 2 and Soul Worker. It's definitely worth checking out though, especially if you wanted to in the past, but were unable to, or at least before the private servers go down. Once again, if you're not interested in instanced MMORPGs, then you likely won't be interested in this one either. The most unique anime MMORPG out there. And probably one of the most unique MMORPGs overall. Mabinogi gives you the freedom over everything, pretty much. To do, really, anything at all. It's more or less a social MMORPG. You can completely disregard combat altogether and still find plenty to do. Which isn't something you often come across in games. The only other one off the top of my head, I believe, that allows a modicum of the freedom Mabinogi does is Black Desert Online. Now, Mabinogi is a very dated game. Being decades old, okay, okay. Maybe not decades, but at least over a decade old. And it definitely shows, especially with regards to the combat. 
It is probably one of the most slowest and most painful grinds I've ever experienced. But, combat aside, it is one of the most interesting in RPGs I've ever seen. It has instance zones, much like Blade and Soul or Guild Wars 2, as opposed to being open world like World of Warcraft or a sandbox like Black Desert. But Mabinogi's zones are huge and filled with content. You hardly even realize they're instanced, as it's just a loading screen to separate zones. Other than the combat and it feeling dated, there really aren't any other immediate problems with the game. I know some of you are going to hate on me for this one, but I really like it. And I know there are quite a few of you that like it as well. Now sure, Tree of Savior has its problems. Every game does. Yet for all of its flaws, the game itself really shines through as an incredibly engaging sequel to one of the greatest MRPGs of all time. Ragnarok Online. It is one of the few games left of its kind, and it handles the niche incredibly well. The combat is flashy, the graphics are beautiful and crisp, and the story is plenty filled with content. However, sprites aren't to everyone's liking, and I get that. Neither is the combat style or the world type, but I do highly recommend attempting the game out if you can find the time to. It is, after all, one of the only games of its kind left, and you'd be a fool not to try it out, at least once. One of the oldest games in this list, Flife has somehow remained relevant in the anime niche for what seems like an eternity. Starting off the game again recently, the game still has a surprisingly active population of people, even if it only numbers in the thousands. Its combat is unfortunately tab target, but that's more or less what you could expect from all anime MMORPGs released before 2015. However, the fact that the game is largely open, has subclasses for each main class you choose, and a flight system that really makes the game stand out. What anime MMOs allow you to traverse the game through the air? More so, what anime MMO gives you aerial content to actually explore? Adding on to that, how many anime MMOs give you an extensive class system that has you choose a secondary class as you progress through your current class? Yeah, Flive really deserves to still be alive. The only downside I see to this game is that it's still quite difficult and feels very dated as well. One of the most interesting anime MMORPGs out there is by far Digimon Masters Online. One of the reasons is because I'm a huge Digimon fan, and the other is that it utilizes a unique combat system. Sure, it's tab target, like every other anime MMO, but you fight by sending your Digimon partner out for you. Meaning your character, the one you control, isn't the character you fight with. Your Digimon is also capable of digivolving, giving you access to a stronger Digimon, and you're given the option of capturing and breeding an absolute huge amount of Digimon until you end up with the one you want, which gives you an absolute ton of things to do. The drawback to Digimon Masters Online, though, is that for a game released as recently as it was, the controls and gameplay feel very stiff and dated. But don't let that stop you from trying it out, it's definitely worth it. Now this is my list of anime MMORPGs I believe you should potentially try in 2018. It is a follow-up to my very first anime MMORPG video released almost a year ago. The anime genre itself is dying. Stace did a personal Sticks did a personal video addressing that, and I found that these are probably a handful of the only ones left worth playing. So I suggest getting in and trying them while you have the opportunity to. Either way guys, thank you very much for sitting through this list. And as always, good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Hope you find what you've been